What's up? What's your take mm-hmm. on all this nonsense? Insanity. Like, I, I can't believe anyone is actually, yes, mob justice. That's what we need here. Yeah, more mob justice. That's what we need in the world, right? Defund the police. <laughs> Mobs can take care of this stuff, and it's free. I mean, that's what we've been doing for thousands of years, Dev. It just makes sense. I, I promise if it were the other way around, like if, if it were, say, a Black Lives Matter protester getting, like, like he, he had to defend himself against like, like a bunch of rampaging conservatives or something, it would, yeah. the, Vosh would be completely 100% on board with it. Yeah, no one, that's what's so crazy about this. If the political alignment was different, no one in their, no one believes for a second that Vosh or any of these fucking leftists would be making the same crazy fucking argument. No one believes this. Yeah, no one. I can tell you why they do it too. I can tell you exactly why they do it. Tell us. So one of the core components of socialism Mm -hmm. is that the, 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 the fabric of society, the fabric of reality, you could even say, is constantly assaulting everyone as long as you live in a capitalist system because capitalism is inherently oppressive. Right. So any and all actions that they commit, including violent ones, are by default self-defense. Oh I see. God, because, that's because horrific. Capitalism is so oppressive that any action against anything of, involved with capitalism is automatically justified. Yes. That's and so crazy. and so Kyle defending property is just another example of the oppressive capitalism because you know it's property, it's yeah. private ownership. Yeah, his, his action of of defending property or even defending himself because his politics are wrong right. is is an aggressive action. So they they're acting in self defense. That's how nice. they do it. Nice, nice. Sounds crazy. Hey, hey are you here? Bev was here. Oh, Hello, man. how's it going, guys? Oh, nice. I was worried. B, how did how did you, how did you finally get the link? I, I gave, see. I, I was responsible. I, gave it to him. I sent him the link. No, no, I gave it to him. I'm, I'm in the same Many private chat with him. Me the link. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay. Everyone but Adam sent him the link. What's up? So what's your up? take on all this, V? Um, every single genocidal ideology throughout history, like every single one, has a simple mathematical equation. They view the world in factions, in groups of people, and they consider one faction, like faction X, to be oppressed. And faction Y is the oppressor. So the conclusion of the ideology is to destroy faction I and then spread the wealth to X. And this is how X gets justice or social justice. So if you look at, for example, Nazis, they view the German people as being the protagonists and they're oppressed by, uh, you know, the Untermensch, the Jews, the the whatever. Mm -hmm. Um, And they view it as racial justice in a way of, just destroying that faction and spreading the wealth. You have Kristallnacht, you have like, everything is legitimate. And the communists, they, they view the proletariat being oppressed by the bourgeoisie. Uh, the woke people view um, people of color oppressed by the whites. And basically like whatever the protagonist does is justified. It's always going to be excusable because they're doing it against the oppressor and people like rooting for the underdog. Uh, meanwhile, the oppressor, um, anything that they do is evil. Um, you know, every, every time they fight back, every time they protect their own interests is, is out of pure evil. And that just justifies why X needs to hate Y. This right. is it's, so it's dark. The same, it's this, well, it's the same reason why they're trying to redefine racism that, it, you know, it can't be racist against white people. It's literally just trying to make that, solidify that argument in the language. It's, it's, it's terrible. Oh, I, I'll read you something from Wikipedia from Active Measures. Um, this is something that the USSR did against America during um, the Cold War. And I'll, I'll tell you something <laughs> about redefining definitions. Are, are we going to be Yuri posting now, V? Uh, no, this is not from Yuri. This is actually from the head of the KGB. That's, we were supposed to do yeah, that Yuri Call of Duty video before this all happened. Yeah, totally. <laughs> That's the video people send us most often to do. The Yuri, is it Bezhmenov? Yeah. What's his last name? Okay, listen to this. In the view of the Russians, words and the exact meanings they convey matter more than in Western countries, where the importance of this notion still is taken lightly or even dismissed. Once the success of the Russians in inhibiting Western society with the concept of political correctness, essentially based on new meanings given to words, and on the power that can be derived from those alterations. To put the later explanation otherwise, how to cripple a nation by altering the meanings of its own language 
and by closely associating violence to as many of its words as possible in order to poison them. The process is invisible because it does not consist in creating new words, carrying in themselves influence, but in altering the meaning of words that already exist. By converting nouns into adjectives or reverse, it is possible indeed to sow discord that seems to erupt and to grow naturally within a nation, while the unenlightened observer will perceive the process as a society that self-destructs or suicides, again, entirely by its own. This was written in 1968. That's exactly what they're doing, exactly what's happening. I saw uh, the P plus P equals R stuff on CNN uh, a couple days <laughs> oh, ago. No. I'm dead serious, yeah, because they're talking all about this racial stuff. And there's a guy on CNN that does a show that's completely dedicated to race. Like, the whole show is mm -hmm. about race. So the guy's on CNN. He has a TV show on CNN. And he's trotting out this P plus P equals R. You know, uh, uh, what is it? Uh, he basically made the argument that um, if you're racist against whites, that's not really racism. That's prejudice. Uh, All right. Because it's prejudice plus power equals um, racism, and I kept thinking, right. I'm like, this guy has a TV show. Well, like, <laughs> in what world does this guy not have power? Yeah, exactly. He's in the mainstream narrative right there. Well, they yeah. they have to make up a new word because if only white people can be racist, then like, what happened when an Asian is racist towards a black person? And now they use colorism, right? Which is pretty like they they have to invent and make ideological loopholes in order to show consistency with reality. It's why leftist memes have walls of text because like they need to construct an entire house of cards for you right. to actually understand what they're trying to say there. And it's interesting because. Like with this argument, the language, like the public isn't ready to accept uh, the 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 narrative fully yet. So Vosh still has to try to create an argument within the framework of proper language about how the mob is justified in, in attacking this kid. And that's what leads to this insane situation where he's just saying this crazy shit. And everyone's like, what are you fucking talking about? Yeah. Academia yeah, but if you read the Antifa right handbook, up, they actually say they the change definition of self-defense, like they understand self-defense in attacking a fascist because they believe that if the fascist is allowed, he's going to spread his ideology, he's going to gain power, and eventually he is going to threaten the existence of minorities. So right. they view it justified to attack someone and be violent towards someone without provocation just because they label someone a fascist, and they call that self-defense. Yeah, yeah, and it's so, it's so frustrating because that's why the, the, when the normies say like, well, they're anti-fascist, so if you're not fascist, you don't have to worry about it. And I'm like, are you fucking crazy? Are you kidding me? That's what they do. They just label everyone they don't like a fascist. Yeah, it's sad. So, it's very sad. I don't think, V, did you get the Watch Together link? I don't see any of you guys in the Watch Together room, so. We have like six minutes of this video to polish off. Yeah, I didn't. I didn't get the link. I sent you the link first, Dev, on Let me see. Discord. Uh, yes, you did. There it is. There it is. Why, why do people keep calling Vosh a communist? I mean, he is the most savvy capitalist I have ever seen. <laughs> I know. <laughs> it's so true. Yeah, I'm still here. OBS okay. is reconnecting, so I don't know if we're oh. actually live or not, but it seems like, okay, uh, we, got, uh -oh. we are live. Sorry, a little hiccup there. After okay. we bragged about how stable our platform was. I know, I know. I think it was actually my internet, so. Adam uh, pressed the wrong key. No, I didn't press anything. But I see you guys are all in there now, so we can go ahead and continue. Unless. Uh... But I'm in Sweden. What the heck? Wait, oh, I got restarted. Yeah, so. why did you restart it? Bastard. I didn't. I just pressed play. The same thing. If you're being chased by somebody and you've already shown you have a fire, this is a good chance that motherfucker is trying to kill you. Is that you. the breaking news narrative scary. the world needs right now? You don't like breaking news, but you're willing to depart with your standard to throw out. I don't the... like breaking news, but every fucking retard on the internet, I said it. You, Hassan, everybody else is going to be giving all your dumbass fucking hot takes. You even said it earlier. Well, he had Blue Lives Matter on his Facebook. So yeah, you know what? I'm in Sweden. I'm bored as fuck. I'll watch some videos of some dumb fuck. Destiny, we love you. <laughs> If stereotyping is wrong, why is Destiny so right? <laughs> I know. I know. I, you know, you know why, why it's obvious? Like, when I saw it, I didn't start talking about it because I wanted to wait for the facts. But, like, I knew that the kid, whatever it happens, is not a gun-crazy gunman. Because, like, 
if he was like that, he would have just gone there into the crowd and go da 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 da. Like it, it would have been far more effective than just try to antagonize a couple of people and run away from them. You know, like it doesn't make sense. Even criminals have mental capacity and make sm- uh, you know rational decisions. So yeah, exactly. none of this added up. The rifle. Yeah, I will give yeah. a take on so, it because to clarify, you guys all do it anyway. So I to, guess so. Yeah. Why to the clarify, fuck when I did the Blue Lives Matter thing, I was uh, <laughs> explaining why I personally believed that kid was probably in the wrong, but it wasn't a part of the argument that I was making. Which do we know what the Blue Lives Matter thing was? Do you post some tweet he, or something? He just. Post the Blue Lives Matter or something on his Facebook. Oh, okay. yeah. How dare he? Like, what? What if a police officer is black? I mean, is he in Black Lives Matter or Blue Lives Matter? Like, what? What is? Oh no! <laughs> Don't <laughs> cross the yeah. streams. <laughs> you know, you know what they believe actually? Because I I spoke with a couple of communists and they believe that once you put the uniform, you stop being black. You're part of white supremacy. Oh my god! Oh my god! Yeah, yeah seriously. Too. Like they yeah. legitimately believe this. They call you a race traitor. Yep. That's so evil. Was like this New York That's Times, another thing uh, that... Go ahead. This New York Times article headline is Suspect in Kenosha Killings Lionized the Police. <laughs> Was that bad? I, I'm curious, actually, you know, if they believe that blacks can be race traitors, which is something that I don't believe. But like, if they believe this, is there something a white person can do to become a race traitor? Or is it only like something specifically for oh, blacks? That's I a nominate- great point. How, yeah. <laughs> How come white people can't be race traders? Like it's like no, no. If you're white, you're always racist. That implicit bias always exists. They, uh... you know, you know how you can uh, fuck up a communist narrative like really bad mm-hmm. uh, when they say like white people were never oppressed, and then you talk about the Holocaust, and every single time I have them say, <laughs> "Well, Jewish people aren't white," and it's like. <laughs> Well, if that's the case, let's re-examine the the power who has power in the state. Let's look at some charts. Let's look at like, uh, you know, the income, and then then they get really angry and they block you because they like again like I'm not concerned about who has power in the state, but they view it through factions, and for them, who has power is very important. And when you spit it around and you make them sound like a Nazi, they just block you on default. They don't know how to articulate anything after that. Mm-hmm. You could tell, too, that they were going the school shooter route, like they were going to characterize this guy as a school shooter because they started talking about how he's at the front row of a Trump rally. Like, you're not allowed to go to a Trump rally. That would make sense if he was a school shooter. You'd think, okay, well, he's a Trump supporter and he's a school shooter. But if he's not a bad guy, I, it's not illegal to go to a Trump rally, last I checked. But yeah, like, what, why didn't he open fire indiscriminately in a crowd? Why, why just, you know, attack the people chasing him? Yeah. Uh, very, of course, obviously the narrative they got is completely incorrect. I just, I'm curious as hell what's going to happen at the, at the major networks because they are so characterizing this incorrectly. Oh, I'll tell you, they'll, they'll ignore the facts, man, like CNN, right? They, they have fiery, but mostly peaceful protests. Well, why do you think they said that? <laughs> no, no, you're laughing, but why do you think they said that? You tell me. To show you that they can stuff their corporate cock down your throat and there's nothing you can oh do about it. Oh, my God. <laughs> it's funny because that's exactly why I've been watching CNN. Like, I feel like you, you're going to get you away. You want the you cock down wave... your throat? No. <laughs> no like, no, you have the like gall to see. fucking <laughs> wave your cock in my face? You bastards. Yes, yes it's, it's literally that, a display of strength. Like, they can say it. And, and what CNN is, it's telling people the correct way of thinking. I mean, mm-hmm. that's literally what it is. It's a firmware oh, so update bad. for the NPCs. It's the strings for the marionette man. It's, it's so It's just telling that this is how you're going to think. And if you think otherwise, you're going to be canceled like Destiny is now. Like there are people trying to report Destiny to the Twatch terms of service because he said uh, he doesn't care if militias uh, defend, you know, uh, their businesses and rioters get gunned down. Yeah, that's, that's what he said, yeah. you know? And people are now trying to cancel him for it. 